Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today, well, tonight, I'm taking you to one of the most beautiful sceneries here in Vietnam and I'm talking about the Sapa Mountains. So, it's 10 o'clock in the evening and we're going to take our bus right now. It's going to be a very long journey. We finally got on the bus. When we booked the bus, they told us to go to a hotel and that the reception will give us the ticket and will give us the instructions. We go to the hotel and they, do, they knew nothing about the bus. So uh, we went around the hotel and we finally found the bus and they requested to see the ticket, which we didn't have be because we booked online and they didn't give us anything. We spent around 20 minutes figuring out what bus it was because there were two of them and we finally on the bus. Yeah, so it's quite comfy, I can't complain, but the procedure is just a nightmare. Just for your own reference, there are three ways to get to Sapa. The first one is with the bus, just like we're doing now. It's quite comfy, you can figure it out. Yeah. The second one is by train, so you can take the night train from Hanoi to Sapa, and that will cost you around $25, but on top of the train you will also need to take a shuttle from the train station to Sapa city center, so that wasn't the most convenient option. And the third one is simply to book a tour, and with the tour you will just be with your guy from morning until the night and go trekking with him, but that's not what I wanted to, to do, so yeah. Right now, we just need to wait for the bus to go. No smoking, no alcohol drinking, no eating or going back. Please put your footwear in the commode. No luggage sleeping in the aisle or in bed. The good thing about those trips is that you actually get to stop, so we have two stops in six hours of bus, which is good. Bought some snacks here, which is always good when you travel. Didn't sleep much, I was editing my last video, so if you subscribe to my channel, you can see it. It's here on the right or left corner, I don't know. And see you again to a second stop. Hello, madam. You have booking? Yeah, we do. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> you have everything. You are checking and homestay. Yeah, we have hotel. Oh, you are hotel? Yeah. Hotel. Yeah. And maybe trekking here later? No, maybe because we have hotel, but maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow we have no hotel. Oh, tomorrow you don't say me. Maybe, yes. Yeah. Do you have phone number? Yeah. That was such a crazy night, so that was a crazy ride. Basically, we spent three hours on the bus, uh, overtaking the curves on the bumpy road. Uh, but at least the bed was very comfy, so I'm not gonna complain on that. And it was cheap. We got to SAP at 3 o'clock in the morning, and right now it's 6, so we had to leave the bus and we are going through the hotel. It's raining like there's no tomorrow, seriously. It hasn't been stopping raining for... Since we arrived actually. It is 6.30 in the morning. Uh, just got to the hotel but the room will only be ready at 12. Uh, we wanted to pay more but unfortunately they don't have any room available because it's a national holiday. So they are fully booked. We're gonna get breakfast. I'm going to show you the view. It's wonderful. Check this out. One of the crazy things about Sapa is the weather. So it can change any time from minute after minute. Suddenly it will start raining after a beautiful day. And uh, well, we didn't get to see the beautiful day so far, but I think the city is very beautiful. We're still waiting for the check-in. We still have four hours to go, so we're going to see the city right now. Before... Are we going to sit in this rain? Yes. I want to see the city. <laughs> At the end of the day, people come to Sapa to do trekking to see the nearby villages, but not the city itself. So we won't have much time to see a city. So I'm going to show you a little bit around. Let's see. Many people say it's not nice, but as far as I can see, it's much nicer than Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi. It's more authentic. People speak way better English, like literally 
I'd say 80% of the people speak English, which is super nice. After being in Ho Chi Minh in Hanoi, where maybe 20% of the people speak it, you can communicate and speak to the locals, which is one of the main reasons why I travel. Ah. Hello, how are you? No, thank you, darling. I don't need it. Thank you. When you come to Sapa, you will probably want to stay in one of the homestays. The best option is to stay with locals, so you can stay in their homestay, in their house. They will give you lunch, they will give you dinner. You can go and trek, do trekking with them. And usually, the price per person is around $40. But today, since we spent the night in the bus, we booked a hotel with a swimming pool to relax a little bit. to see the Kat Kat village this afternoon so Kat Kat village is the closest village to Sapa so the easiest to reach it's like 30 minutes walk I read online that it's possible to trek when it's raining so let's see we might just buy a poncho and go for an adventure see what the receptionist says that's Sapa town this should be Kat Kat village where I wanted to go and tomorrow we're going to do this trekking but then there is so much more to see all around but I wish we had more time <laughs> I also wanted to mention that even though it's less developed than the other cities like Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi it's much much cleaner yeah and you have scams but they're much less annoying than the other cities so they will stop you, hey, you want to buy this, you want to buy that. You say no, and they will just they will just leave you alone, yeah? It's not like in Hanoi that they follow you around and they insist you for half an hour. So, so far, a very, very good impression of the city.